Hey you guys, what is up? Chrissy here and um, I'm so excited that you are here so that we can talk about, what are we talking about? Wait, okay. <laughs> this particular video we're talking about is the vending machine business saturated? All right, so I know it's been, this is a, this is a good topic because once, like when I was in the vending machine business, let me back up. Hey y'all, it's your girl, Chrissy. If you don't know who I am, I um, have been in the vending machine game for over seven years. I pretty much know lots of things. When it comes to vending, I used to stock vending machines. I used to have workers to stock my vending machines. I used to do it all, all right? So I literally slaved in the vending machine business back when there weren't any mentors, there weren't any people teaching you how to start a vending machine business. I was literally doing it and I was getting money, losing money, and I literally learned as I went. There wasn't anyone back then to really teach me. Now, I since then, I have been able to uh, pretty much find different niches in vending that worked out for me. I've been able to make multiple streams of income just in vending alone. I've been able to help thousands upon thousands of people start and grow their vending machine business, not to mention scale their vending machine business. So I enjoy talking anything and all things vending. So when I'm talking anything about vending, it's because I've been there, I've done that. I have never taken anyone's vending machine course. I've never looked at anyone's vending machine course. And then now I'm just reteaching it. I was in the business, in the game, um, doing it, learning it. And so now I'm here. So if you enjoy uh, these videos, please like and subscribe. That lets me know that you enjoy the video so that I can give you more videos like it. And please guys, don't forget to comment below. I want to know what you guys wanna see, what questions you guys have. That way I can create more videos like these. So when we're talking about is the vending machine market saturated, let's talk about which market in vending we are wanting to discuss. Why do I say that? Because when we just talk about certain parts of vending, yes, certain parts may be saturated, but 98% of the vending machine business isn't saturated, all right? So let's talk a little bit about the parts that might be saturated, okay? So when we're getting into the vending machine business, Yes, we all know that we are finding locations for vending machines. We're finding vending machines out there. The parts that may be saturated are getting on to um, certain, uh, like when you get on Craigslist and OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace and just typing in vending machines and then trying to look at the first vending machine or the second vending machine you see, right? Because once you do that, I feel like you're not opening your opportunities to looking at everything in a whole. So sometimes people just go on these sites, they look for vending machines, and then they're like, wait a minute, what am I looking at? Like I see a vending machine, it looks good, maybe I should buy it, maybe I shouldn't, but you don't look at it as a whole. So once you know exactly what type of vending machine you wanna start, why you wanna start that vending machine, and then your processing of scaling that vending machine business, I find that that's a little bit easier than just saying, all right, let me look at the vending machines on here, and I'm just gonna scroll and scroll and just look at all the vending machines, but I'm not gonna take action. I feel like that part is saturated, because then it's like you keep going and you keep going and you keep going, and then you don't do anything, all right? Other things that I feel like are maybe saturated is looking for the same exact snacks and drinks that everybody buys. So when you're looking, or when you go to any vending machine, you look inside of it, chocolate, I mean, Snickers, Reese's, Twix, like vending machines normally have the same things, Cheetos. I mean, I'm sorry, I love Cheetos. All right, I love, love, love Cheetos. But come on guys, we gotta get tired. <laughs> we gotta get tired of looking at the same snacks over and over again. Think about what people might want that are not normally in vending machines, but they want over and over again. So when I first started placing uh, a vending machine inside of a daycare center, Takis, those were super popular and I had no idea they were popular. 
one day, um, this little, you know, girl came up and was like, why don't you put some Takis in the vending machine? I had no idea what that was. I was just putting, you know, rough, what I grew up on, ruffles, lays, and different Doritos. And I just didn't realize that there were other things and other options out there that maybe adults didn't even like, but that kids absolutely love. So I started putting Takis in there, right? Now we're talking back then, I didn't know the nutritional, you know, information on it back then, but they were like the biggest money makers. And that's because that group of children, they love the Takis. So think about the people who you are servicing at that vending machine place. What do they actually like to eat? Once you find out what they like to eat, I think it becomes a little bit better like you'll understand it becomes a little bit easier um to find out what you'll make money doing and so you don't want to be saturated with just buying the same old stuff to me all right now when we go on the flip side um the reason why vending is not saturated oh my gosh because there's just so much that you can do in vending alone and you can make so much money um with doing different things depending on what you choose so there are a couple of people who have started their own lash hair vending machines um and just because they're in those different types of market they're able to make thousands of dollars monthly because they've chosen a specific audience right everyone doesn't wear weed everyone doesn't wear lashes everyone doesn't wear hair bonnets um there are hair bonnet vending machines everyone doesn't need sandals out of a vending machine think of places that does need sandals out of a vending machine right clubs bars um when we were in our early 20s we would go to a bar with these heels or, or club with these heels and then when you leave I'm sorry. I feel like at least once, all right, at least once you have taken off your, your heels to walk on the floor. All right. I did that at least once, even though my car was like probably not even a block down the street. I had to be like 20, <laughs> 20, 21. But Think about it. If there was a sandal vending machine close by, I, of course I would have purchased sandals for $4.50, $5 back then just to get some sandals to walk, right? Think about it. When you're done, you're at the club. What do you want to do? You want to walk around, right? So if you think about things like that, you'll understand reasons why certain things um, will never be saturated when it comes to vending, all right? Other things is finding locations. Man, that's like the money maker right there. That's one of um, our sources of income and vending, finding locations for people. People will always need locations. People will always want locations, so that part will never be saturated. Selling vending machines. People will always want vending machines. People will always need vending machines. Um, I found that people don't realize that old vending machines still sell too. And I'm not saying like the old rusty looking ones, I'm talking about just in general, old vending machines still sell. Have you ever seen one of those arcades and they have like all the old um, arcade games and it's like super old, but you know, like Pac-Man is super old, but we still play that. There's always a niche for something. So um, selling older vending machines, not the ones that break down or anything like that, just the older looking ones, those still work as well, where you could resell older vending machines to places. You can sell them to business owners and you can still make money. So that will never be saturated as well. All right. So I have talked about a couple of different reasons why to me, vending is not saturated, will never be saturated. Um, and choosing the right thing in vending can really, really, really grow your business. It can really help you start your business. If you like this video, again, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you guys want to see. I love when you guys write me because it lets me know what you guys want me to talk about. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. And I really thank you. You could have been anywhere else, but you chose to watch this video. And I appreciate you. Thanks so much, guys. And I will see you later.